So let's move on to something different. pH curves. Now pH curves, you have to think about how the um, the titration actually works. Now generally what you've got is a graph of pH versus volume of hydroxide acid uh, added. So you'll start with uh, a strong acid and you will find that the um, the pH will tend to increase slowly up to the point where you have an equivalent amount of uh, acid uh, or hydrogen ions acid and base. There you've got a strong acid curve and of course you've got the strong base curve at the other end as well. Weak acids, higher pH and weak bases will tend to tail off to a lower pH than the strong base. Indicators, well each of the indicators will have their own ranges. Phenolphthalein of course will have a range indicator range there it is and methyl orange will have its own indicator range as well and that means that what you need to do is to use the relevant indicator for the particular titration that you're going to be using so in titrations follow the curve and for a strong base you'll use an indicator with an alkaline pH rate range such as phenolphthalein for strong acid, use an indicator with an acidic pH range, such as methyl orange. Just a few points about titrations. The equivalence point, remember, that's the point where you've got equivalent amounts of acid and base have reacted. So if you've got a, a 25 cubic centimetres of uh, one mole of sodium hydroxide that will react with 25 cubic centimeters of one molar hydrochloric acid but it doesn't matter whether it's a strong acid or a weak acid so for example 25 cubic centimeters of 0.1 molar HCl will react completely with 25 cubic centimeters of 0.1 molar ammonia even though the ammonia is a weak base and the HCl is a strong acid. Now that's very important when you consider any calculations. Uh, simple acid base titration calculations where you're working out the uh, amounts of each that uh, react doesn't matter whether you're talking about a strong acid or a weak acid or strong base or a weak base the equivalence point is going to be at that that same point.